Hi guys! Um, this is the Weird Cat Tarot. Um, and this was a Kickstarter. And I got this. I've got a, quite a few. I've got a bit of a backlog. Um, so I probably got this like, oh gosh, at least a month ago. And I haven't even looked at it yet. Um, so this is the first time I've been going to be looking at it. And I just took the shrink wrap off. Um, it comes in this lovely magnetic box. Oh my god, look at that. Which is great. Okay. Alright, so we're gonna put this aside, but it's a really nice box. Um, so, <laughs> as you can see, um, as you can see, it's edged in like metallic pink, okay? I was so happy. Um, and, and the backs are really cool. So, um, the cardstock feels really, really nice. Um, it's a matte. Um, it's, um, it's a good, it's, it's a good, um, weight. I don't know what weight it is. I apologize. Um, but, um, yeah, it feels really nice, and, um, I think it'd be really easy to shuffle and work with. So, um, so, if I apologize if it's a little blurry, again, my camera is, um, it's old. So, this is the Fool. I love, I love the little... Um, swatting of the, um, the bee there. Um, the magician. I, it is based on Rider Waite Smith. The High Priestess. So you'll be able to recognize certain, uh, symbols from that. The black and white symbolizing like the black and white columns and we have the moon the empress the emperor <laughs> the, her the hero fawn oh my gosh just the expressions in the cat's faces are so funny Um, the lovers, the chariot, I love it, the cat is riding the bug, that's, that's the chariot, I do really believe that, like, my cat would sit on a bug if it could, um, the strength card, the dumb beetle, This is the hermit, the little lantern from its tail. Um, the wheel of fortune. Justice. And sort of see the cherry as like the balance scales in this card. Um, the hanged cat. Death. I I love I love the humor in this in the stack so much. This is temperance. And you, you can really tell that it was created by someone who has cats, who loves cats. Um, I think it really captures the, the cat nature in here. The devil. The tower. A tower is like a fuzzy, scratchy post. <laughs>
the sun, judgment, the world, All right, so that is all the major arcana, and we're going to go into the minor arcana. And this is the Ace of Cups. The Two of Cups. The Three of Cups. Oh. <laughs> I can't wait to use this deck. Um... The Four of Cups. The Five of Cups. So I think in here, in the minors, we're getting a little bit pippish. Um, so, but that's okay. The Six of Cups. The Seven of Cups. So the Seven of Cups is normally... Oh no, it's going to take me a while to find it. <laughs> a deck. Hold on. Um, yeah. So this is another deck. This is the Seven of Cups. This is the Crystal Unicorn deck. Um, and you can see the unicorn is like looking at all the choices. Um, and this is really, really very, very similar from a Rider Waite Smith deck. Um, and so you can see that from here, um, but it is still a little, um, a little pippish because, um, I think if you didn't know that, it would be a little hard to discern. Um, but you can see these are all the choices, and you just don't see the um, the person trying to decide. So, or the cat in this case. Um, the Eight of Cups, which will be good because then I'll be learning. Uh, it'll help me learn my meanings a little better. Um, the Nine of Cups. Oh, The Ten of Cups. It's cute. Happy family at the end. There. And we've got the page. We've got the Knight. Queen, the King, oh. okay, and then we start our pentacles. So it looks like even though she, um, the suits are the normal suits, the cups, and the pentacles, and the swords. Um, still, we've got these little, um, like this one has uh, strawberries, and the other one had roses in it, so we still have it, its own little, like, symbols in there. Um, and I think we did see each one in the magician card. There was a there was a stick and a strawberry and a rose and like a I don't know what it what that one is. Um, something that represents like wands or rods, but so that's just really adorable. <laughs> the two. The three. The 
four. And then five. Aww. He's crying. I'm trying to remember what the... Oh, okay. So the five of pentacles is this one here. Um, more... That's supposed to be a church, and they're out in the snow, and they're um, cold and hungry and everything. Um, so that is that card, in case you don't remember, like me. Um, that's why this kitty's crying. Because it wants the strawberries. Um, here. This is the... Six of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles. This is the Ten. Page. The night. So it looks like we're going to have each night writing different bugs. Because the night of cups was writing uh, like a different bug. And this one looks like it's writing an ant. Queen. King. And we've got swords. So trees. Okay, so trees are swords. That makes sense. These are like like long long skinny pine trees. We have a lot of those where I live. Two of swords. Three of swords. A little different depiction of the Three of Swords. The Three of Swords is usually a heart. Um, the reason I'm using the Crystal Unicorn deck is because I want to do a walkthrough of it as well. Um, oh, there are the swords. So, um, so this is normally the Three of Swords. So you have a heart with swords on it. Um, and then, but it's always nice to see different depictions of the card, and so, um, this looks like a cat who's been trying to climb these trees, and the trees are buckling under its weight, and it's holding on for dear life in a storm, um, or it's just holding on for dear life in a storm when all of the trees are, like, falling <laughs> around it, and it's raining, and Yep, so that, but that's great, that's great. This is the four. The five. The six. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at that. Um, this is the Seven of Swords. That, if you notice, that cat looks really weird. In fact, that might be not a cat at all, but to get a dog. Huh. We might never know the answer. That's just adorable. It's a dog in a cat suit <laughs> with a cat hat on, pretending to be a cat. This is the Eight of Swords. The Nine of Swords. The Ten of Swords. Oof. I don't know how the cat can be so peaceful with all those trees stuck in him. The Page. The Knight of Swords. The Queen of Swords. 
the King of Swords. Okay, so we've got wands. So this looks like a like a vine that is going to be used to represent our wands. Two of wands. Three of wands. Four of wands. Five of wands. Hmm. So this one is usually fighting. People are like fighting each other with like sticks, which are the wands. <laughs> with the sticks, which are the wands. Yeah. So this is the five of wands, and um, they're supposed to be not getting along here. Um, but. You could also, so this could be taken two ways as like they're not getting along um, or as a card where you need to figure out how to work together. And I like all the paws in the middle, like they could be attacking each other, they got their claws out, but they could also be reaching towards each other to try to work this out, to work together. Like, so that's cool. That's really cool. They're all trying to grab, but they could also be trying to, you know. Anyway, anyway. Six of Wands. Ladybug. Seven of Wands. And Eight of Wands. Which I, I do know what that one is. Um, the Nine of Wands. So it sort of goes back and forth. Some of them are more pippish and some of them are a little less. The Ten of Wands. The Page of Wands. Ah! Oh my gosh! The Knight of Wands! <laughs> and then we have the Queen of Wands. And the King of Wands. Yeah, these are the cards. They are just lovely. Um, I don't mind that they have this border. I don't mind it at all. I think it works really, really well. Um, okay, so this is the guidebook. Um, I have a little yellow lamp here. I just, so it's gonna be slightly yellow, uh, but I need some more light. Um, so, yeah, I love this. So I have a big, like, I, I have a big little, a big little poster of, of this, um, that this deck came with. It's in this bag here. It's really awesome. It's not one of the cards, although I wish it was, but, um, signed by the creator. Um, but I have a poster, so I am totally excited about that. Um, I also got a pin, which I believe is the four of, oh gosh, I don't remember, but it's one of the cards. I think it's the four of cups, cat and strawberry, so, um, so yeah, it's a really great card guidebook, weird cat tarot. Um, so this is, we've got, um, table of contents, major arcana, minor arcana, tarot spreads, weird cat zodiac, sketches, and real cats and friends from the deck. So, um, so yeah, it goes through, um, a description of the cards. It's really great. What the Minor Arcana is. Um, uh, read what the Strength card means. Um, while the Rhinoceros Beetle... Oh, it's a Rhinoceros Beetle. While the Rhinoceros Beetle is one of the strongest animals in the world, only second to the colossal Maine Coon, this cat 
has him tamed. She represents the power of influence over force and the ability to tame your emotions and then and use them constructively. There may be something in your life that you need to conquer using emotional strength. That's cool. Um, let's see. Oh yeah. Oh, it's the Four of Pentacles. That's the cat with the strawberry. That's what I got. Um, this goes to all of the kitties. And then we've got some spreads. Oh my gosh. Look at that cat. Okay, so we've got classic three card spread. We've got the dog spread. Uh, number one is fear. Number two is how to handle fear. And num number three is the outcome. Um, we've got, of course, the cat paw spread. Um, number one is where you are. Number two is where you've been. Number three is what you're working looking for. Um, number four, obstacles in your way. And number five, where you will be. We've got the fishes spread. <laughs> Look, it looks like a fish. And that one, like, looks like a paw. And that one's where it looks like a dog. See the ears and then the nose? I don't know. It works. Um, and then we've got the Celtic cross. So we've got just a standard Celtic cross in there. Um, so if you're, you know, less familiar with tarot, if this is like one of your first decks, um, there's a classic for you. And then also, um, the creator has put in the cat oracle, which is great. Um, so I am... This is me. I'm a Libra. Um, and it says, Libra cats are peaceful and social. They may sometimes be a bit clingy, but they make an excellent couch companion. And so the tarot card is justice that it's related to. So yeah, okay, so they do all the correspondences. So Aquarius is the star, and Pisces is the moon. And this is, okay, so at the end we've got some sketches. This is great. That's really fantastic. Oh, so this is the dog. Salty the, so it's a corgi. Cardigan corgi. Fatty. <laughs> um, <laughs> so that's so cool. One-eyed Willie. Oh, that's awesome. One-eyed Willie is the eight of um, wands. Kit Kat. Oh, I think this is cups. Uh, two, four, six, nine of cups, maybe. <laughs> Bippity, boppity, and boo. Oh, gosh. Look at that cat in the box. That's my cat. Oh, my gosh. Cuddles. Oh. That's awesome. And this is the creator. Um... Uh, yeah, so it's a great little book. Um, um, I'm gonna. Yeah, guys. So this is like all this, all that I got for the Weird Cat Tarot. Um, I will put a link. Um, and so I don't know if you can buy this. Um, the Kickstarter is over. I'm assuming that they will. There is a way that you can. Um, still get the deck. I just have to do some uh, research um, because it, it's simply awesome. Um, and um, yeah, I can't, I can't, I can't wait to, I can't wait to work with it. So thank you for joining me. Um, and I apologize about maybe the camera and the lighting, but um, hopefully you got to see this awesome, awesome cute deck. Okay, bye.